Well, 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 hope y'all doing all right out there. I'm doing fine. My name is Wayne Bolden. I am your speed king, of course. And thanks so much for all your support as we are outside the studio. We'll be back in hopefully tonight and uh, as we move towards our anniversary, which is on Traverse Day, our very first video two years ago, as tis the law won that uh, COVID Traverse Stakes. And thanks so much. And our tip sheets will be available for the Traverse Stakes for sure. Email us. They're 20 bucks at speedking 20 speaking 24 at yahoo.com and of course you can always support us we take all the money and pour it back into the studios of course as we upgrade now with lighting and audio and the little things we needed to do to try to at least get it a little more comfortable for us but i thank everyone for their love and their support and most of all their donations uh through our tip sheets and our shirts which these are limited edition uh, if you want them please email me and of course uh, buy me a coffee uh, we have a bunch of fun here and we have an awesome awesome community right uh, the elite club right and very uh small elite club and we got a lot of subscribers but you know again we really do appreciate it so please email me at speaking 24. well we're looking at friday steak race uh over at Saratoga, there are six races, and they're all New York State breads. And I don't have to tell you about the breeding program up there. Very precocious New York, uh, you know, breeding. Uh, very nice horses they're turning out there. Quality, quality, quality. And race number seven is no different on Friday. It is the funny side stakes. That's right. 200,000, six and a half panels. They're going to be stepping out there. This is for two-year-old babies. And you ain't going to have to look far. Let's dive into the number one horse, Acoustic Avenue. Acoustic Avenue is one for one. It's by McLean Music. I'm not saying that Acoustic Avenue is... Jackie's Warrior, who Jackie Warrior is by McLean Music, but I'm telling you now, this one horse can tiptoe, y'all. That's how we said it in our neighborhood. That means the horse can run. He can tiptoe, y'all. Okay, Acoustic Acoustic Avenue, please, by McLean Music on the back end by Street Boss, trained by the classy, classy Clement. It looks like Clement's going to have a big day on Friday. Every race I look at, the six stake races, he got them loaded for bear. And it's no different with Acoustic Avenue. I tell you, McLean Music, this baby can run. Broken Maiden on July 29th, right here across beautiful Saratoga, up in the mountains in Saratoga Springs. When gate to wire, this horse fell up out of the gate with Frankie or with Franco on him. My, my, one by seven and a quarter length, earned a decent speed figure back in four weeks. I like that. Four to six weeks, I'm happy, right? And I tell you, hey, listen. It's McLean music. Y'all know what it is. And the first thing you think when you think McLean music is Jackie's Warrior. Can the horse be a shade of Jackie's Warrior? Let's stop lay that at, you know, acoustics doorstep just yet. It's a little early to be doing that. But you have to acknowledge that they're both by McLean music and they both fall up out of the gate. So, I mean, you know, the sky's the limit. Obviously, a serious win contender here, the number one horse, and Will's going to probably take some beat. Going to be smoking out the gate, going an extra half a furlong. I like when they stretch out a little bit and they got speed. While it bottoms and fills out, right? Get out, get over, and then bye-bye, see you later, Blackbird. So the number one, obviously, is a top, top win contender in here. The number two, I'm wide awake. Well, one win from two starts by Land Bam. Uh, Anthony Dutro, you can't never put nothing to buy Anthony Dutro, but it appears to be a little bit overmatched to me. Uh, Joel Rosario is in the yard, so that makes you open your eyes up a little bit. Uh, again, but to me, I don't think so. I mean, got beat up by uh, Damo's uh, Frenzy, the number five horse in here, beat him down, ran third that day. This horse ran 11. So the number two horse, I'm wide awake, I don't like in here. We're going to toss her off, the, or toss him off the ticket. The number three horse, Belt Parkway. Well, 
I don't know if you're going into Long Island or not, if you use the Belt Parkway, it should be more like a parking lot, right? Well, the number three horse and one start, one win, y'all can't shake no stick at that. And you can't knock the horse, never done anything wrong. St. Louis is doing all the conditioning and calling the plays, but he better hope this here uh, colt improves because I'm telling you right now, going in, this horse is seriously overmatched, y'all. Belt Parkway, we don't like her. We want to toss her off the ticket. Oh, by the way, the trainer owns this horse. It's a nice horse, just in the wrong race, I think. The number four horse, well, Donald Go Surges, right? Oh, not Mo Donald Go, Donald Go Surges. The number four horse, one start, one win. Can't shake no stick at that speed, King people. They paid 150000 for this candy ride horse by on the back end by Bernardini. Oh, man, there's that man again, mama. Tom Pletcher, he probably decked out in his Italian suits. That boy be clean like that. Yeah, Jose Ortiz is in the orange, and I wouldn't put anything by him. But if you think Belt Parkway was slow going in, this one's a little slower relative to the two top picks in here. But again, they're babies, right? They have every opportunity to jump in and jump big, right? Well, it's got a beautiful rating sire-wise across the board, all the way three generations back. So Donald Go Surge ain't no joke, man. This horse, and he runs the right way, sits in the catbird seat, and Jose Ortiz pushes the button in the horse circles, right? Ran a beautiful maiden race on August 11th. Maybe it'll be my third pick in here, maybe the number four horse. I mean, I ain't mad at you if you like this horse. For sure. The number five horse. Well, here's the horse uh, that's a big threat to Acoustic Avenue. That's the McLean Music Halls. That's right, the number one. Well, a domino, a domina, a frenzy, right? The number five horse. Well, trained by my boy from New Jersey, Kelly Green. Kelly Green used to work for Due Process Stables over there in Colts Neck, New Jersey for uh, Ben Perkins Sr., I believe, for sure. And he sure knows how to do this thing with... Uh, Speed horses and a domino, a and dynamo, a frenzy. The number five horse, man. This horse is very nice. Broke his maiden on uh, June 3rd at Belmont. Went gate to wire with Irad in there. Earned a beautiful, beautiful speed figure. If that wasn't enough, 43 days later, they rolled the horse back against Open Company. Of course, you know this is New York State Breads in this race, right? Again, in the Sanford, in the Grade 3 Sanford Stakes, the horse was 4-1 to one against Mo Strike and Great Navigator. And ran third. Didn't disgrace at all. This is a, I watched the races. This is kind of a smaller horse, but this horse flat out can fly. And this is the biggest threat to the number one horse, Acoustic Avenue. The number five horse and the number one should dominate this race. And it should be a match race, to be quite honest with you, one, five, five, one. I mean, which one do you take? Whichever price is bigger, if you ask me, because it's one way or the other. Now, I just happen to like horses by McLean Music, of course, on the rail, but I'm not going to... Uh, not let you understand that the five horse not only broke, her, broke his maiden, he's been in against open company uh, grade three horses and didn't disgrace and ran beautifully. And now it's back in 41 days. So this horse has a little more experience than the number one horse. So I guess I would give the edge to the number five and Irad Ortiz and my boy from Jersey, Kelly Breen. So I'm going to go ahead and put that horse on top of uh, as our top pick uh, and Donimo. Uh, a frenzy for sure, okay? And the last horse in the race is General Banker. Well, I mean, I don't know what to think about the Banker horse. Still a maiden. That's right. Two starts, no wins, right? The horse is by Central Banker on the back end by Johannesburg. What's the word, right? Well, the horse's two starts are on the turf, and the speed figures are horrible, and I think they just duck this one in, or the racing secretary asked him to put them in. But I would keep an eye on this horse after this race, General Banker, and they'll put this horse back on the grass in a maiden, maiden special race, and he'll probably beat somebody down. But right now, General Banker, the number six horse, is seriously, 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 seriously overmatched. Out, O-U-T. So, in this year's uh, funny side, it looks like a two-horse match race to me. The number one, Acoustic Avenue by McLean Music, can flat out tiptoe as fast, and it's going to improve off of that race. And of course, uh, and, and Dynamo, a frenzy, 
uh, the Kelly Brain Horse has two races, and one of them is Open Company in the San and, and, and the Grade Three um, Sanford Stakes. So to me, it's one five five one, and I guess our third pick would be the number four uh, Donald uh, Donald Gold Surge uh, as to round out our our tri factor for sure. Which one do you take, the number one or the five? I say whichever one price is bigger. Right, because it's really hard to split them. Right, you can't say one's better than the other or the other's better than. No, they're both about the same, and it's just you know. I mean, if you got to bet them, I'm going to be playing horizontally, so I'll have them both on my tickets. But I'm got to pick somebody on top, so I pick the number five because it has a little more race experience than the number one. Right, as my heart bleeds, but I will have them both equally on my ticket for us. So, in the top picks here in this year's Funny Side, it's five, one, four, in that order. Let's see how we do. We like both of these horses. We think it's going to be a match race at the top of the stretch. Should be entertaining for sure. These horses can flat out tip sell, y'all.